Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I've got another fall look for you guys. Very dramatic one compared to the last one. My last one was a little bit more neutral, smokier, all that. This is also very smoky, but very dramatic. I mean, you can obviously leave the lip out if you wanted to, but I just thought the lip would go really well. So I wanted to do a really dark, dark, dark lip with a really dark, dark, dark eye. I just thought it looked really cool. So I am in love. I feel a bit badass with this. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, so if you want to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. So I'm starting this tutorial off a little bit differently. I have primed my eyes like normal, but I'm actually sticking some tape along the outer corner of my eye, just a little bit further down from my lower lashes and meeting my brow, just to give us a nice sharp edge. And then I'm taking Inglot's eyeshadow in 309, which is a very, very pale, soft, dusty pink. This is just a transition shade. You're not really going to see this against my skin. It's just to help the lighter colors blend. But I'm just taking my big 6SS brush and buffing that into the crease. Next, I'm taking a Catrice eyeshadow. This is the Velvet Matte eyeshadow in Al Burgundy. Love the name. And I'm taking that on a MAC 2 to 1 brush, I think, and starting right against where the tape is on the outer corner of my eye and just very lightly, not really bringing that, actually, yeah, okay, we're bringing it about halfway across the crease, but keeping the darkest part where the sellotape is and just bringing that onto the outer corner of the lid is a little bit as well. Then I'm going back in with my 6SS brush and a little bit of the light dusty pink and just buffing out the edge of that. Just to make it nice and soft. And then going back in and building up the colour. To deepen this up a little bit we're going to use the Inglot eyeshadow in 308. Which is a really really deep deep plum aubergine shade but it's super super dark, it's almost black. And I'm applying that again right against the tape, bringing that onto the lid a little bit and into the crease a little bit, but just not as far in or as far high as the first shade. Then I'm taking Kat Von D's Metal Crush Eyeshadow in Thrasher, which is this like really greeny, yellowy gold shade, almost a mustardy gold. And on a flat brush, I'm just packing that over the lid where we haven't applied any shadow and using the edge of the brush kind of to be the edge of the eyeshadow on the lid where it meets the crease. Then I'm taking the darker shades again and just helping blend that into each other. And now the big reveal, we're going to reveal our sharp edge. This just saves so much hassle for you so we just take the tape off. And on a 2-2 two, two, or 214 brush sorry from MAC I'm taking the darkest shade, the 309 from Inglot and applying that as close as I can to my lower lashes, about two thirds of the way across my lower lashes. And then I'm taking the Al Burgundy shade again and applying that on the inner third of the eye, blending into the darker shade. And then using a small buffing brush, we're just gonna buff out the edge of that. And then tidying up my lower lash line with some concealer just to brighten you under eyes and get rid of any fallout. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going in with the Inglot eyeshadow in 373, which is a matte white shade. And I'm applying that just to my brow bone and just using that to tidy up any edges that are a little bit harsh. I'm then going in with NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm using that as a base for my inner corner highlight because we're not using something that's super, super bright in the inner corner, so we did want to brighten it slightly. So I'm just applying that around my tear duct area. And then just patting that on my finger to make it nice and smooth. And on top of that, we're gonna use the Inglot eyeshadow in 08, which is a pale gold shade. And we're going to just pack that on the inner corner. This goes really nice with the gold that's on the lid. But it's lighter than the gold that's on the lid. So it does act as a highlight. It's just not super, super bright. 
for my waterline i'm going in with the urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil in mars which is a deep deep emerald green and applying that to my waterline this is a really nice shade it goes really nice with the purples on the eyes and it's this entire look just reminds me of fall so yeah I use the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Punk Rock, um, which is a deep purple with some like gold and red reflex in it. You can't really see it when I when you see the photographs of this, but I added it just because I wanted to, so yeah. To line my eyes, I'm using the Inglot AMC Gel Liner in 77, which is the black one. So I lined my lash line and I did a dramatic enough wing actually, yeah. Finish that off with some mascara. This is the MAC Pro Beyond Twist Mascara and I just applied that to my top and my bottom lashes. Onto the face, I'm gonna use the MAC Blush in Next Skin as my contour. So just applying that into the hollows of my cheeks. For my blush, I'm using the Sleek Blush and Antique, which is this really, really deep, rosy, almost brown, but it's more of a rose. But it, it just looks antique, so the, the name is pretty close, so yeah. I really, really like this for this time of the year. And for my highlight, this has become a new favourite of mine. This is the Carl Lagerford and Model Co. Baked Blush, but it's actually a highlighter, in light beige, and it just makes my skin look wet. It's so shiny, but it's not sparkly. It's really, really shiny. And it's just so, so pretty. I always get compliments on my highlight when I wear this shade. And I decided to finish this look off with some lashes. These are the Primark Mini Mouse lashes. Yes, Primark have a Disney range of lashes. Well, I think they only have these. Oh, they've got, have they got Alice in Wonderland? No, those are false nails, Never mind. But they do have mini mouse lashes, so I, I just had to buy them. But they are actually really, really nice once they're on. I didn't get to film this, but on my lips, I use Max Cyberworld Lip Liner. I just forgot to film it. And Max Lipstick in Media. And that's your finished look. Alrighty, guys, so this is your finished look. I hope you all enjoyed. My nails are definitely not autumn They're very summery. <laughs> Anywho, um, so yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this look and give it a go because I do love it. I actually really, really, really love this. I thought it was going to have a mirror right here, sorry. I thought it was going to be very much... I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, basically. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. So, yeah. If you did like this look, then give me a big thumbs up below. Hit subscribe and check out more of my videos. And leave me a comment down below if you do like this look and if you're going to try out this look. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye!